Hello, my name is Mr. Leo. I'm a studio artist and art teacher here in Mira Mesa. And uh, we are going to draw marine mammals using simple shapes. Uh, yeah, so these, uh, these practices are good for uh, building up our proportions because it's all just simple shapes. Uh, let's get, oh wait, I didn't even introduce our tools. I'm all over the place, okay. We're gonna need a pencil for sketching, as always. A marker for drawing with. We either use a Sharpie or an ink pen. Hey, good morning, Natalie, good to have you. Hi guys. And then an eraser to erase our sketch marks afterwards. Oh, I wanna show you guys something. I think we've been drawing together for like a good month. Look how thick, look how much drawings we have. So many. Uh, we have a lot. It's enough to make a coloring book. Okay, well anyway, let's get to our paper and let's add some more drawings. Okay, today is marine mammals. Marine mammals are well, they're kind of like us, but then they've adapted really well to living in water or the ocean or uh, the sea, I guess. So the first one I want to do is a really popular one. It's a, it's, a, it's a favorite. So let's start from the center and let's draw a circle, you guys. Let's draw a nice circle. Keep it, let's keep it pretty simple today. And I am just sketching. That means I'm drawing lightly as I search for my lines. Oh man, DJ or Brooklyn, you guys already guessed what, what we're gonna draw. Okay, yes, it's gonna be a dolphin. So let's make a point to the left. You guys are good guessers. Let's make a point to the left of the circle, you guys. And then let's make, I guess they'd be like fat leaf shapes. Kind of like how succulent leaves are. They're kind of really round, right? So they're like fat leaf shapes. Fat leaf shapes. Yeah, good job, Brooklyn. You're a good guesser. <laughs> are you guys are you guys fighting over the keyboard? Okay. Now from this circle, I want you guys to go follow this circle. And we're gonna kinda bring a curved line that goes towards those two fat leaf shapes. Those are chubby leaf shapes. And this curve, we'll have to do it again. Over here. So we'll go from this fat leaf shape and we'll go up and follow the circle here. Pretty simple, right? And let me know if I'm going too fast or too slow. Sometimes I don't know. I get, I get really caught up in the drawing and I'm not paying attention. Okay. I want another fat leaf shape, guys. So from the bottom of our circle, if we go to the left, I'm gonna make another fat leaf shape. But check out this leaf shape, it's gonna be at an angle. So instead of going directly down vertically, this is at a slight angle this way, right? So it's going this way, not that way. Angles are important when we're drawing. Oh, 
Okay. Next thing I want you guys to do is we're gonna make an oval here. It's, if you cut the circle in half, you'll know where to put the oval, see? The oval is somewhere in between that circle. Uh, what is it, the, the line that cuts the circle. Okay. Now I want you guys to make another curve right here. This is just like a, an arc coming from the side of this circle, right? Pretty simple shapes. Now I, wa now I want you guys to make another uh, chubby leaf shape over here. But this is gonna be at a different angle. Pay attention to the angles, okay guys? Next thing, <clears throat> I want you guys to make where the circle meets uh, these arcs right here. I want you guys to make a fin, which is just kind of a, I guess it's a triangle where it's kind of curvy on one side, huh? It's going to be a funny dolphin. You'll see. Now I want an, another curve going this way. This will be the dolphin's cheeks. Let's draw a line, a diagonal line, another curve, and then we need a few more uh, little arcs. So a few of these. We need circle, cir circles for eyes. So I'm gonna draw a big old circle here. And another one here. And then a circle on the side. And then a circle inside. This is gonna be a goofy dolphin. Let's make it a little pointy, the, the bottom fins. Next thing I want you guys to do, make some wavy lines right here, because this is a taco. Our dolphin is eating a fish taco. And we'll make some small round shapes right here, so it looks like there's crumbs. And that is the extent of our, of our sketching here. Let's put away our pencils and let's get our markers out. Okay. I'm gonna start with the eyes first. I'm gonna draw a circle and another circle. Circle to the side. Circle to the other side. Dolphin eating a fish taco, yes. Because that's what dolphins that's what dolphins eat. They go to um, Rubio's to get some fish tacos. All right, now let's get this, uh, let's get this curve right here. This makes it look like the dolphin's cheeks are full. And let's go and do the dolphin's mouth. So, 
we're gonna ignore this circle. We're just gonna go around. <laughs> yeah, has a funny face. We're gonna go around the the nose type thing that dolphins have. And then we're gonna go around. Let's go all the way around. But we're not gonna we're gonna go uh we're not gonna go past the fin, so let's let's end at the fin. And then we're gonna go draw the contour around the dolphin. Let's get that fin. And let's go down the, the length of the dolphin's body until we hit that first fin. And we're gonna go around the fin but we're not gonna draw the whole thing. We're gonna leave it open. Now, let's draw the tail, let's draw towards the tail of the dolphin. And we gotta draw the, um, the, the, the flipper, I guess, the tail fin of the dolphin. So it's just, Kind of following this, it kind of looks like a mustache, I guess. It's like a mustache. Yes, yeah, fish tacos from Rubio's. Where's your favorite fish taco place, guys? I know everyone has one. El Patron, maybe? Let's go up. And this, this fin is behind the whole shape, so we can go past this fin all the way up to the mouth. Let's go do that, guys. See? Just like that. But we still gotta draw the fin, so since we're here, let's draw that fin. This is my masterpiece. Oh, you guys like Rubio's, good. All right. Just gonna shape up my head here a little bit. Now let's draw our taco shape. And the reason we made these arcs on the side is to make it look like it's bite marks, right? Little bite marks, little dolphin bite marks. And then let's get the rest of this curve. I'm gonna get the little crumbs. And then I'm gonna get this wavy line, which is like the, the the vegetable part of the taco, I guess. There. Rubio's. Did you guys know Rubio's is a is a San, a San Diego thing? It started in uh, San Diego. So, there. That is our very majestic dolphin eating a fish taco, and that'll be our very first marine mammal for today. Ah. Beautiful, so majestic. All right. Baja taco, huh? Rubio's Baja Grill. This ad is not paid for by Rubio's. Uh, okay, the next thing, the next marine mammal we're gonna do, it's gonna be a cute one. Let's, let's get started. Let's go from the center. We'll be using simple shapes once again. We're just gonna draw from the center. We're gonna go up a little bit and we're just gonna sketch out the circle. So we got our pencils back out, right? Uh, happy you guys are following with me. I'm not seeing any, any messages where I'm drawing too fast, right? Looks like we're on a good pace today. <laughs> okay. Turtle? Nope. Marine mammals. They're just like us, right? We're, we're mammals. So we're, we, uh, we breathe and we store fat. What, what else makes us mammals? Sound is gone. Uh-oh. 
Is anyone else having troubles with the sound? Let's draw. Oh no, really? Dang it. Hmm. Hold on, let's give it a minute, guys. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna check something. Oh, it's back? Okay, good. Then let's continue. Well, that was easy. Let's draw little tiny ovals on either side of its, uh, its head. That's a giveaway, I guess. Let's draw tiny circles on the side of its head. And I want you guys from below the circle to draw an oval. But this oval, this oval is going to be uh, kind of round. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a jelly bean shape. Jelly bean shape, guys. Easy. Nice. That's the spirit. Yeah, drawing is easy. Drawing is fun. All right, guys? Another thing I want you guys to do is make an oval. Kind of looks like a monkey, but it's not a monkey. Just shaping out my oval. I would say it's maybe one and a half the size of the, the width of the head. What? Maybe you just haven't had the right jelly bean. Because there's always a mix of weird flavors of jelly beans. Okay, I want us to draw its eyes. For its eyes, I think I'm just going to have it... Uh, these these uh, curved lines like that, okay? And I want to give it a nose. So the nose will just be a round triangle shape. Another thing I want us to make is a fish jelly. Nope, nope, not a jellyfish. Remember, it's a marine mammal, so they're like us. They're warm-blooded, and they have, they usually have hair, not, not all the time. They breathe air, that's another thing. Okay, so from about, I would say around the center, I want you guys to draw a triangle Seal? Close. Uh, well, I think it's close, but it's it's not a seal, guys. Next thing, DJ and Brooklyn, let's make an oval here. I guess this is like a, a hook shape from the side. And then I'm gonna do another one here. Next thing I want, a mermaid? Nope, not a mermaid. That's that's actually a good good guess. Because I've been throwing fiction, uh, fantasy creatures with my other animals, right? Next thing I want you guys to do is I want you guys to make a line going down from the nose then a curve on either side. Yes, good job. It is an otter. Good guess. Good guessing over there, Brooklyn. Okay, next thing, guys. Another oval on either side. They kind of look like jelly beans, but not really. 
And let's not forget the otter's tail. Nope, nope, it's an otter. So let's draw the tail, guys. So I like to draw my tail by just drawing one line. I know that's three lines, but I was just trying to shape out what line I want or what, what direction I want my tail to be. So imagine that line is like the skeleton, right? And let's fill it in. So otters kind of have a, a thick tail and then we'll make it kind of round in the end and then we'll bring it in. So this otter is laying on its back like a lot of otters do. But our otter is gonna be eating a, let's make some circles on this triangle. What does it automatically become? And then let's make a curve below these, these other curves here. And I, I think I don't want to make a bite mark on this pizza. I think it's good. I think it's good on its belly like that. And I think that's, that's uh, we're done with our sketch. I think we're ready for our markers. Shall we get our markers out? Um, mermaid, I, I have an idea of what I want to do for this next one. Maybe we'll save the mermaid for later, okay? We'll do like a, a fantasy creature day, maybe. Okay, guys, so let's, oh, uh, hey, thank you. Good to have you, John. <laughs> All right, guys, let's continue. Let's draw these little... Ooh, my ink pen is blotting. All right, let's draw the eyes first. This makes things easier when we have a nice, cute little face looking at us. Let's do the, the rounded triangles. <laughs> yeah, Bob Ross otter. We'll give, we'll give the otter an afro too and a paintbrush later. Okay, so let's let's make this curve for its uh maybe they're called jowls or its mouth. And then that little curve right there. Okay, and let's do the jelly bean shape. Nice and easy. And you know how we put these ears on the side of each of, uh, on the side of the head? We're just gonna draw the contour of it, okay? We're not gonna go past it. So here's what I mean. Let's draw this ear first. Let's go around the head. We'll stop right here though. And we'll continue on the other side of the head. And then we'll make the ear here as well. So we want to keep it open. But we'll do the rest of the otter's head on the top. So let's let's get that top going. All right, that's a nice big round otter head. Okay, now let's do the contour of the body. Let's go down. It is easy, it's simple shapes. You should join us for the next one. <laughs> It'll be fun. It's uh, therapeutic. Okay, now let's get this curve here for the otter's arm. And let's get this curve here for the otter's feet. And we'll just leave it like that. We're not gonna close it off. And let's go towards the tail. With this tail, I don't want to close it off either. We're just going to go around. We'll just draw the contour, the outline, okay? 
My ink pen is being unruly these days. Maybe I need a new one. It's always blobbing everywhere. All right, now let's go up. Let's go around this otter's feet. And we're not gonna, we aren't going to draw the whole thing just up to there. We're keeping it open. And we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up the, oop, ink is blotting again. We're gonna go up the length of the otter's body. Let's get this arm in. Let's draw that triangle. Triangle pizza, don't forget the crust. And you, I already showed you guys how to make a bite mark, so you guys can make the bite mark if you want. This is the time to do it, but I'm gonna keep mine simple. Just the whole pizza, little pepperonis. And the last thing is to close off the contour up to the head, and that is, that's an otter sleeping on its back with a pizza on its belly. That is, that is our uh, second marine mammal for today. We have one more after this. So happy you guys are here with me drawing. I know a lot of our friends are back to online schools, so our young artist has dwindled, but I'm glad you guys are still here with me. All right, bye Xander, good to have you. And we'll save the recording if you wanted to draw the third one, okay? So, see you later. Other one's pretty easy too. Let's go from the center. This is just gonna be an oval, you guys. Nice, big oval right at the center. And then from uh, the right side of the oval, we're gonna make uh, this is more of a circle, I guess. Yeah, it's a circle that's slightly longer left to right. It's more like a dumpling. It's not quite a perfect circle, right? Okay. I wonder if you guys can guess which marine mammal this will be. Now we're going to do one of those uh, succulent leaf shapes, okay? So those are just those round, chubby leaf shapes. Next thing, we're gonna get another chubby, round leaf shape. Duck? Nope, not a duck. So ducks are uh, part of the, the bird species. Remember, we're drawing marine mammals, marine mammals. Okay, now we're gonna draw another circle. And then over here, we're gonna draw two more of those chubby leaves. Walrus. Yes, you're right. Walrus is correct. So let's draw the contour, guys. We have all the shapes we need for our walrus. But let's go ahead and It is, it's a walrus, or you can make it a manatee at this point, but it is a walrus. So let's bring the line up towards the head, see? So we can kind of connect the neck, and it's a wavy line here. And then it goes out and around. And over here, 
What makes it a walrus will be these two big pointy teeth. Two big pointy teeth. And what should our walrus be holding? You guys have a favorite food? Guess we'll just have it. Maybe I'll have it hold a burrito. So a burrito is pretty simple. It's kind of a rectangle, but then it's rounded on each end. See? And then we could just make a little swirl on the top. There, that's a burrito. And let's make our little triangle nose, the one that's upside down right here. So upside down triangle nose. We got our burrito and one flipper. And then I'm gonna draw my big, big circle eye. And then I'm gonna draw a circle on the side and then another circle in the center. I like the cutesy eye. Mm hmm California burrito. Do you guys have a favorite burrito? I think California burritos are pretty good. French fries and anything is good. There, we got a nice, nice chubby walrus. I think that's the end of our sketching. Let's put away our pencils. And let's get our markers out. I think I'll start with the burrito. It's the most important part of the drawing. Just kidding. All right, so let's, let's make this swirl, this spiral swirl. And then we'll draw the contour of the burrito. And it's remember, it's just a rectangle with round ends on either side. Round ends on either side, right? And then let's get that flipper down. So it's just that rounded leaf shape that we want. And we're not gonna close off this rounded leaf shape. Rather, we're gonna go continue it and we'll go towards the tail, guys. And let's get these, these uh, rounded leaf shapes here too kind of look like succulent leaves, right? And then let's continue along the walrus's body. Hi, Heather. <laughs> uh, I'm using a, an ink pen and I can give you the link later after. See, it's from Amazon. I think they're only $9 for a pack which makes it a lot cheaper. If you go to Michael's, they're like 20 or $30, which is ridiculous. So let's get this front flipper here. So we get our walrus and it looks like it's lounging. Then we'll go towards its head. We're not drawing any of these circles yet. We're just gonna bring it all the way up to its snout, its little snoot. And while we're here, I'm gonna go and draw the eye. I like drawing the eye. It's like instant character. Gives it a lot of life when you draw its eye, right? Am I going too fast, guys? Okay. Let me know, guys. All right. Let's get that nose going then. Nine dollars? Oh yeah, thirty dollars for a pack of like plastic pens from the same place probably. It's not worth it. So let's get those upside down triangle noses. It's because it's a specialty store, guys. That's how they get you. It's it's a it's a trap. All right, let's go around and draw this snoot. Let's get those teeth in, very characteristic of a walrus, right? Like saber tooth seal. And let's put a little line down on its nose. 
And we got to show that this connects. So let's make a line going out towards the body. And one more thing over here, I want us to make uh, two crease lines just so it looks like this head is uh, kind of bending forward. So it's just kind of two lines like that, okay? And then I, I also want to do it for each of the fins, maybe, or just one here, I guess. That'll do. And there, that is our walrus with its burrito. Okay, I'm glad, I, I'm glad I, uh, my pacing is a little better for you guys. So this is our third and final drawing for today. Haha. -ha. Thank you guys. Thank you, DJ in Brooklyn. Happy to have you guys. And look, I want to show you. I made a sticker. Haha. -ha. It's the dolphin eating a, a fish taco. Very fun. Okay, that was a good morning brain workout for us. Uh, yeah, so this is our final drawing. Please color them and share them in, our, in the page here. Uh, and uh, hope you guys have a good day. Keep practicing. And by the way, um, I'm also selling my art on the link on this video. And uh, if you'd like to support, I have a Venmo. And I also offer online classes. So thank you guys for joining.